Rolling stones are acting, not bragging. Looks bigger than Jack and not sagging. Hi guys, Mark here. So what I want to talk about is different bench press variations, okay? So every knows there's different types, you know, you've got dumbbell, barbell, whatever. But what I want to talk about is incline, decline, or flat, okay? So which is the best out of them? Um, and they all have a place in your program, I think. You know, every knows that incline bench is going to work your upper chest more. Flat chest is just great for total activation. And then decline, a lot of people are saying that it activates your chest even more. Um, so my opinion is... You know, mix it up, okay? I think they all have positives and negatives, okay? So in terms of the incline, some of the positives would be your upper chest, um, but the negatives would be it brings in your front shoulder a lot too. So it works your, your anterior delta, you see, when you're moving like that. And it's a lot harder to lift weights, or to, to lift as much weight at that angle, I think. Okay, so moving on to the flat, you know, great, great exercise that a lot of people like, um, like for powerlifting, like, like, that's just... It's one exercise that everybody knows, okay? So, done correctly, it'll be a great exercise. You know, with your shoulders pinned back, your feet planted firmly in the ground, nice little arch on your back, and uh, keeping your elbows tucked, you'll activate a lot of the chest and triceps as well, so you'll get really, really strong using this exercise. Then, some of the negatives would be a lot of people don't do it properly. You know, a lot of people mess around and hurting their shoulders and just think it's dangerous then and stay away from it altogether. Um, so, it might go to the decline or something instead. So, in terms of decline, some the positive would be it activates your chest really good. Studies have shown that it, acts, it can activate slightly more fibrous than the flat, you know, um, main more there being slightly. It's not a great increase, really. And some of the studies are only comparing it, comparing decline to incline, and flat, like, isn't even in the study, so you can't really go off a lot of them. But, um, yeah, it's good, actually. You can lift a lot of it, a lot of people feel stronger in this. But that might be because your range of motion is actually a bit smaller because you're pressing, you know, your, your chest is up high, your stomach's in the way, like you're hitting your ribcage. So you're not removing your elbows back as far. You're, allowed to pre you're able to press where you're heavier. And another thing is you can't use your feet. So this could be seen as a positive or a negative. So you lift lighter weight, but you lift it. It'll, it'll be hitting your chest more. Okay? It'll be doing the same amount of damage to you. <laughs> and you get the same benefits, really. So I think, really, if you're comparing them all, you just want to try and add them all in and it's up to yourself really, it's personal preference. Whatever you like doing the most, stick with it. If it's working for you, stick with it. If you don't like it, change it up. There's other exercises, you, know, you can use dumbbells instead of barbells, you can use machines if you want to. Um, but yeah, once you're doing something, once you're progressing in the gym, once you're getting bigger, getting stronger, that's all that really matters. So just do what works for you and don't listen to anybody else really. So that's it, thanks. If anyone has any questions, just comment below, send me an email. If you like the video, please click a like. And if you want to subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. So thanks, we'll see you in the next video.